History demonstrates how much people have yearned to soar like birds. Some individuals attempted to create prosthetic wings and flail like our feathered companions, but were unsuccessful and even died from falls. Others made the decision to research the flying of birds and build devices that did the same. These ideas ultimately led to the invention of the airplane, one of humankind's greatest successes, even though flapping wings were ultimately a dead end. Today, we frequently take airplanes for granted. It's possible that some of us have taken one without giving it much attention. A fascinating machine is an airplane. It can perform any task and serves as a powerful demonstration of humankind's technical progress. An airplane can fly higher and higher in the sky, depending on the function for which it was created or what it does. Hello everyone. Welcome to Z. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. How high do planes fly? How far can commercial aircraft travel? Commercial jet aircraft can soar as high as 38,000 feet, including the Boeing 737, Airbus A320, Boeing 787, and Airbus A330, 11,582.4M. The supersonic airliner Concorde, which is now retired, could cruise at 60,000 feet, 18,288 meters. It was necessary to fly at such a high altitude since the air resistance is lower there. This implies that supersonic travel is simpler. Jet aircraft often travel quicker and have smoother flights than propeller aircraft since propeller planes can only fly at altitudes where turbulence is more prevalent. How high can propeller aircraft travel? Propellers are used by many different types of aircraft. The piston engine plane is one type, it has an engine that is comparable to a car's. These types of aircraft include the widely used Cessna 172, the most well-liked plane in the entire globe. The turboprop engine is the alternative type. A turboprop is essentially very similar to a jet plane, except instead of utilizing big fans to create push, a turboprop uses big propellers that are driven by the engine shafts. Most commercial propeller aircraft have turboprop engines, including the Lockheed C-130 and the ATR family of commuter aircraft. A propeller plane's height ceiling is constrained regardless of the type of engine it runs on. The typical propeller-powered skydiving planes fly at a height of about 12,000 feet, 3,657.6 meters. Student pilots fly from 2,500 feet, 762 meters, to 8,000 feet above the ground, 2,438.4 m. Commercial turboprop planes like the Bombardier Dash 8 and the ATR-72 often travel at 27,000 feet, 8,229.6 meters. Although some propeller airplanes are capable of flying as high as 12,500 feet, 3,810 meters, they rarely cruise at this altitude. Due to less air, propeller aircraft typically lack the thrust to fly above specific altitudes. However, 96,863 feet stands as the record for the highest height reached by a propeller plane, 29,524 m. The NASA-developed Helios prototype robotic aircraft achieved this in 2001. The highest sustained flight by a winged aircraft was also said by this, though not the highest height. How far can military aircraft travel? Depending on the type and use, military aircraft have a broad array of height ceilings. For instance, the Lockheed C-130 Hercules and its variations frequently go above 12,000. 3,657.6 M. Airliners and military transport planes like the C-17 travel at a similar altitude. In combat missions, fighter jets typically soar at a height of about 40,000 feet, 12,192 meters. But when necessary, they may rise to fly up to 65,000 feet, 19,812 meters. 
This can take place in several situations, including dogfights. Fighter jets called interceptors, which are designed to stop bombers and fast-moving aircraft, frequently soar above 66,000 feet, 20,116.8 meters. Over 70,000 feet, the Lockheed U-2, a plane employed for reconnaissance, flies 21,336 m. To aid evade detection by both ground and air-based defense systems, this high altitude is required. The record for the highest sustained powered flight was broken by the Lockheed State Route 71 espionage jet in 1972. It rose to a height of 85,069 feet, 25,929 meters. The State Route 71 was the first air-breathing crewed aircraft to attain Mach 3.3, 2,193.2 miles per hour per 3,529.6 kilometers per hour, making it the fastest air-breathing aircraft ever. How high has a plane ever flown? The record for the highest height reached by an airborne aircraft is 123,523 feet, 37,649 meters, accomplished in 1977 by a MiG E-266M. A modified MiG-25 interceptor. The North American X-15 rocket plane reached a height of 354,200 feet, 107,960 meters, the highest altitude ever reached by a powered winged aircraft. In fact, this mission ascended to an altitude above the Karman line, 100 kilometers, the outer limit of space, and is therefore regarded as a suborbital spaceflight. The Space Shuttle Discovery reached the highest altitude ever attained by a winged vessel, although not technically being what most people would consider an airplane. Discovery's Apogee, highest point, on STS-31, the mission that launched the Hubble Space Telescope, was 386 miles, 621 kilometers. That's for now. We appreciate you being here. View more our channel videos.